I am getting ready to do another stream. It's just a casual stream, but I figured I hadn't done a video in a while, so I probably should do it. So, um, I'm breaking out. Life is rough. Everything's ending. I also look really tired because I had a Mary Kay party yesterday, which was a blast. I had a great time. Um, but that always wipes me out, and then I had, like, the worst night of sleep ever. So, <laughs> I'm tired. So, because of that, I'm going to be using a little bit of a heavier foundation that I'm going to be using my time-wise. And I'm going to use Ivory 140N on my pale face. There's got to be a better term than pale to use. Pale sounds so derogatory. What's a better word? My uh, blindingly white face. No, that's not it. Um, my... You know what? I don't know. I'm trying. I don't have the mental capacity for that right now. Forget it. But anyways, I'm putting it on with the sheer brush. This guy right here. So it is a heavier foundation, but I'm still using a lighter, uh, a brush that will put it on a little bit lighter just so that I don't look super cakey because that's not really, it's not really my deal. Um, since I am putting on a heavier foundation, I'm going to do my makeup on my eyes and my lips a little bit lighter so I don't look too vampire-esque because I will <laughs> look vampire-esque otherwise. So what I'm using right now for my mascara is Lash Intensity, which is big boy, makes your lashes longer, makes your lashes thicker. You can see it's got much longer bristles and it's just a thicker, longer brush in general. And I mean, you can see the difference. Side I used it on, side I didn't use it on. Big difference. And I just found out a new tip about mascara. So to not get clumps on your brush, you twirl instead of like, just sticking it in there. And uh, then you end up with less clumps on your brush. Less to no clumps, apparently. And so far this has held true for me, so there's your makeup tip for the day. You're welcome. I'm sure your life is better for it. Cool. Okay, that's that. Um, I'm still going to put on just a little bit of eyeliner, but I'm not going to go crazy. Um, sorry, my hair was messing up. Just going to do along my eyelid very gently lifting up the corner as per usual for my face and faces like mine I should say for eyes and eyes like mine absolutely not going to put any on the bottom lid today because uh, I don't need anything to make it below my eyes look darker than they already are I already look like I got black eyes. I do not need help with that, so to speak. And I ended up with a bigger tail on this side, so I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a bigger tail on this side. Like so. And I'm gonna put liquid eyeliner over the top of that, so it's not my problem if it's not the same, because it's all gonna get covered up anyways. The idea is just to make it a little bit darker around the eye, so that you get a nice, bigger looking eye. So, now that that's all done, put on my liquid eyeliner. Now I'm going to put on my liquid uh, eye chateau, meteor shower. If I had, there is a gray one that they just came out with. If I had that, I would use it. I do not have it, so I will not be using it. You know how it goes. And today I'm going to put it on thicker and I'm just going to put it on my eyelid. Like so. And because I'm using just the brush from the bottle, it is going to go on thicker. Including on my eyelashes. Very exciting when that happens. I know everybody gets real hyped up for that. Something like that. Then, I'm going to give that two seconds to dry. While it does, I'm going to use my dark brunette eyebrow pen here. Do a little bit of fill in. It's been a while since I've actually done a Mary Kay party. It was good to know that I could still do it. I mean, it wasn't the best party ever. It was definitely a little casual. Um, but it's good to know that I'm still capable <laughs> of talking about makeup in front of large groups of people. Okay. Eyebrow pen. No, my eyebrows are even if I like scrunch that one up, scrunch that one down. You don't care. Sorry. Whatever. Now I'm going to take my all over eyeshadow brush 
and I find my moonstone here, which is basically a shimmery white. I'm gonna go all over the top of that liquid eyeshadow that I just put on. Never actually tried this look before, so we're gonna see what happens. It's gonna be an exciting reveal for all parties involved. I'm also gonna go under my eye just a little bit, just cause I can. I'm gonna be playing Doom again today probably, which means a whole lot of rubbing my eyes in frustration, aggravation, and pain. Just, just pure pain. Doing the same thing on the other side here with the moonstone still. Like so, so that gives me a really light look around my eyes. And then I'm just gonna darken it up just a tad bit with my steel gray color. I didn't believe this is Starry Night, but I wouldn't bet a ton of money on it. I think I'd bet exactly $2 on it. So, take for what you will. And that's just gonna darken up my corners just a little bit. My edge brush here so that I can really get that winged look right on the corner of my eye, and I'm still doing a lifting with it. And the reason I'm doing that is just so that I don't completely white out my eye area. So it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger, and it matches with my outfit. Yay. So, I'm gonna finish it up with, you'll notice my accent piece here has some orange in it. I'm gonna finish up with a sheer orange tangerine little stick here. That gives me a little bit of pop of color so I'm not just gray and white. I could also put some green eyeshadow on, but eh, you know what? What the heck? It's a new day. I'm feeling adventurous, apparently. I'm also just tired. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of my unrolled here. And I'm just gonna put it right along my eyelid here. So like right after where I put that gray on. Yeah, I like that. I like it so a little bit. And that will give me even more of just a little bit of color and just a little bit of darkness. Okay, and that's the look. Ta-da! <laughs> um, if you have any video questions about the product, hit me up, let me know, leave a like, subscribe, do all sorts of things. If you're curious about the products I'm wearing today, these guys, or this guy, these are being sold on Crafting for a Cause LLC, which is a business that I run. 20% um, of all the company's profits go to a humanitarian cause of the month, and these are some of the new products that are coming up. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out the links below. Thanks. See you next time.